First and foremost, I give all praises, blessings, glory, and honor and worship to my Lord God Almighty, the Lord and Savior, King Jesus Christ. And I will read from Revelation chapter 22, verses 20 and 21, KJV. He which testifieth these things, save surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. All right. <clears throat> all right, guys. Peace be on you all in the body of Christ and praise the Lord. And if you're not saved, hello. Please get saved in Jesus' name. Repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ and believe in his finished work on the cross and you will be saved. His finished work. Um, so, yes. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, one night... I was on my bed in my room. This was about, it had to have been last month sometime. Maybe the beginning of last month. Which was January? Yes, January. Sometimes the beginning, uh, maybe mid-January, <clears throat> mid something like that. I'm on my bed. I'm on my phone. And, um... playing a video game right and so I felt I felt like my soul kind of like like something was kind of like pulling my soul out or I don't know but it's like not pulling it hard or like it didn't hurt but it's like I felt it's, it's so it's so, it's so hard to explain like I I cannot really explain it I can't really explain it hold on somebody's calling me never mind but it's like I felt my soul being pulled just a little bit like I don't know it's like like from here from here on down to my torso and it's like something was like and I didn't feel the whatever it was pulling. I didn't feel it. It was just like my soul was being pulled from my body a little bit. It was like, go back in. And it's like, I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, that scared me. And until today, that was scary. And I would pray on it. And I'm like, Lord, um, <clears throat> like, please don't let that happen anymore. That was scary. Like, I don't know what that was. Um, and I say, like, today, because I'm going to put this video link of, of this woman, of this other Christian who had similar experience, but she has, I believe she has more detail into it because she goes into detail and things about Jesus and all that good stuff, right? So before today... I'm just like, I wasn't living in fear. I wasn't paranoid or nothing, but I just didn't understand it. And I'm linking this video, Lord willing, because it's like, well, what she says in it, two things in this video, two things is basically what I experience myself. I experienced this myself. So that was the first thing. I felt my, my soul being like pulled. And I felt scary. I was like being pulled a little bit. Like it was leaving my body. But then like. I'm just sitting there on my phone. Just you know. And whatever I was playing. I make sure to still have the gospel. Rather it's my. Um, like my. What do you call it? My profile name. Or. <clears throat> or my. Um, you know my. <sighs> my profile itself. If I'm able to, because that's what I, that's what I go by now. If the game allows me to have the gospel of Jesus on there and to, for me to save Jesus, I will play that game. If not, I probably won't play the game because I feel like they have something against Jesus. And if you have something against my Jesus, I'm not going to play you. I'm not going to waste my time with that game, right? So, um, yeah, I just felt my soul being like pulled. I'm like, oh, Lord. Um, that was the first thing this lady shared in her video. 
The second thing was, um, I think I had this dream. Now, the first thing that happened for real. The second thing, there was this dream about, um, this was like maybe last, last, once again, last month, the end of last month, beginning of this month. And I dreamt that in my apartment now, in my room now, the Lord showed me that it looked like it, there was these people that was trying to raid my house or these two guys or whatever came up and like he came upstairs because I have a two story, two story um, apartment. Thank you, Jesus. And he came up on, you know, where my bedroom is at, but they didn't see my bedroom. It's like the Lord hit my bedrooms. They didn't even bother to look this way. It was like a wall right there to them. And it's like, I'm looking out like my bedroom door is cracked a little bit. And the Lord is letting me see, not even cracked a little bit. Somehow, I don't know if the door was even on it or what. But I seen these guys, Caucasian, um, they're just like, they're just like looking, you know, like looking for somebody. And... In the meantime, I'm in my room and my daughter is over there by the wall sitting down, but she would never do that because I don't have like the thing, some kind of table or whatever for her to sit down. I mean, I have a table, but it's been never, it's never been set up on my wall like that. It's like, she's over there sitting down, but, and like, basically we're in my room <clears throat> and she's over there sitting down and just smiling or whatever. And I'm in my room, just looking out the hallway I'm looking at these people raiding, looking for somebody. And it's like they didn't even bother to look at the door or look at the look at the room where I'm at. Because it's like the Lord hit the door or hit the room and just completely hit us. You know? And we just weren't nowhere to be seen. But we're seeing them. Just like how um, the Lord allow his angels to blind <clears throat> blind the men of Sodom and Gomorrah so they wouldn't find the door and stuff. That's how it was, except these men, they weren't blind. They just didn't see the door. Like, the Lord completely shut us off, like, so they wouldn't see. The door was, the room was there, but they didn't see it. And so, yeah, so, this in this one video that this woman talks about, she talks about basically how, like, when, I think she also says something about her soul also being sucked out, but that has to do with the rapture or something like that. And then about how the Lord shows her that her husband is, her husband's house is being raided and they put him in handcuffs and stuff. But except in my dream, they was, ra they was raiding my house, my apartment, but I wasn't there to be seen. It's like I was there, but the Lord was hiding me. And the hiding me part, to me now, means that that means the rapture. How the Lord is going to take the saved, going to take us who are saved. He's going to hide us away, you know, rapture us away, hide us away from the evilness that's going to come on, on this world for seven years, right? So, I thought this, this video link, you know, I thought the video was very like, like, it was... It was not identical to me, but it was um, definitely relatable to me. I'm like, wait a minute. That sounds sort of like what I went through, right? So I'm going to link you guys this video, and um, go ahead, feel free to check it out in Jesus' name. I thought it was interesting. God bless and take care in Jesus Christ's name.